Hey everybody, I'm Sue. I'm Bob. <laughs> Guess what? Today's laundry day. Yeah. So we got tired of spending $20 a day or $20 a week in laundry. So we decided to invest in small washer and we're just shocked at how good it works. We've had it for a while now. We didn't want to tell anybody we had it until we actually got the dirt that we're sure on the work. washer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me show you. So what we have here is the washer. It is the Cupid. Think you can see the name there. It has a nice big tub. So this holds about seven gallons of water on the largest fill. And it has two separate tubs, one for washing and one for spinning. So it doesn't dry, but it wash and spins almost dry. So with that being said, um, we like to take it outside, especially on a nice day. Yeah. So this isn't that big. It does fit in the trailer. Um, I can put it in the bathroom, can put the drain hose into the shower, and fill it from the shower handle. Um, it's just a little too large to fit in the shower, though. So you might have a bigger shower, it'd fit great in your shower. But in, in the bathroom, we run the, um, yeah, the drain hose in the shower. And out here, though, we uh, run the drain hose down a sewer dump in the RV park. Oh, and let me show you. Well done. Oh, there we go. So, as you guys can see, we're just using fresh water. We're doing cold water wash today. When I do it in the trailer, I can do a mix of hot and cold. So, there's the drain. Here's the back of the unit. See a nice little fan there. The cord has a thing to wrap around. Um, it is... Well, you can see how tall Bob is. So it's maybe, and we have it up on blocks. 30 inches tall and maybe 17 inches wide and 28 inches long, maybe, 24. So we find it very handy. What do you think of it, Bob? Oh, I like it. It does a good job. It does as good as any washing machine. So. Is there anything you would change about it? Um, no, I can't think of anything. All right, so he's filling the tub. We're going to pause for now and we're going to show you how it agitates. Okay, so there's markings on the inside edge over here that say um, small, medium, small, high, and big high. Okay, so I filled it. I already put my soap in and my water and I have the dial set on normal. You can go normal or gentle, and then here's our drain. Show you how we use that in a moment. So I like to have it agitating prior to putting in the clothes. I'm just gonna give him a little submerge there so you can see him agitate and it alternates directions. There's my fancy crazy pants. <laughs> Ooh, delicates, unmentionable. <laughs> okay, and I like to just get them in there. So that was a few pair of underwear. Um, a shirt, a pair of stretchy pants, and this is mostly an uh, underwear load. There's another shirt, and one more shirt, so that's two shirts, three shirts, so five shirts, a pair of stretchy pants. I mean, this is a pretty good size load, y'all. It really is, yeah. And once we get get everybody wet, there we go. Then I just shut the lid, and you can see how much it's agitating. Yeah, it really does a nice. Job. So it'll wash for 15 minutes, 
and then we'll come back and drain it. Then we'll run a rinse cycle. Nothing like redneck laundry. Redneck Tuesday. laundry on a Tuesday. <laughs> okay, everybody, you can see that our timer's up top. Oh, and by the way, I put the little marks on the handles just so I could see it a little bit easier. But the cycle's finished, so the first thing we need to do is set it to drain. And you can hear it draining. So it has a pretty strong pump. It pumps water at a pretty good pace. That's pretty, pretty fast to empty that washer. Okay, we're just gonna wait for it to drain and then we're gonna start the process all over again. Um, we use fabric softener and about half the time of the wash time. All right, check you in a minute. After you've completed the drain cycle and all the water is out of the wash tub, then you have to turn the knob from drain to normal. Okay. We just check the laundry and you can see that it's all in here and no water's in the tub. We're going to refill it and rinse. Okay, everybody, the rinse is finished. So we're going to turn the knob to the drain start the draining process. Now we're gonna start spin drying our clothes. And because it holds about half the amount, I don't have to wait for the tub to be completely empty before I start putting clothes in here. So as I put them in here, can you see down in the tub? Oh. You can see it's just a smaller tub than, than the washer. It'll hold nine pounds, which is about half of the laundry load. And I'm gonna fill it, oh, about halfway. Woo. Now this spinner also has its own pump and it will pump out its uh, water as it goes. So this is the protective lid. I just bend it, stick it in, and then I'm gonna push down just gently so that it sits on top of the clothes. You don't have to push real hard, just make sure that it's a barrier to keep the clothes from flying up. Shut this door and then this one because this has the safety brake on it and started spinning. Wow. And then it smooths out. And we let it spin dry. Okay, once it stops spinning, we can open the door or with the emergency safety feature, we can open the door and it instantly stops spinning. All right. And then we just go through the same process as before. Take out our ring and then hang our clothes. So you guys can see you got a few areas and we just make quick release lines, but there are much fancier clothes lines available. All right, so I'm Sue. There's Bob back there. <laughs> and we say happy washing. Bye. Love you, bye.